Adding a soundtrack to your clips can really tie them together. A soundtrack is applied to all the clips in the timeline. Notice that I've added a poster as a closing clip in the timeline here. This emoji was added right within the text. To add a soundtrack, tap the music note icon up here. We have two options here, a preset soundtrack or a song from the music library in this iPhone. The preset soundtracks are nice because they can adjust to the length of your video. If I add this four to roll soundtrack to my Dwight clips, Notice how it plays itself out. If I select a different preset soundtrack, it also adapts to the length of the video. Now I'm going to switch over to my flower video clips. If I choose a song from my music library, I can preview it here. Tap and drag on the audio waveform to adjust the starting point for the song. If I slide this over a little, the song is going to start at this point when the video begins. So hey, won't you show me a I like how this song opens though, so I'm going to go back to its beginning. Tap done, and the song is added as a soundtrack. Obviously, it's not going to be timed to the video like the preset soundtracks are, but the song will automatically fade out. Another neat thing about soundtracks is that if you have one applied and then decide to add another clip, as you're recording that clip the soundtrack plays behind it. So if there's a point in the soundtrack you want to stop recording, you can listen for it. The MacU.com provides in-depth video tutorials on how to use your Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Start a free trial today to see all the lessons on topics like macOS Sierra, iOS 10, the Photos app, Safari, Calendar, and many more.